Let me start off before I finish this video saying, you know, anybody that thinks they're offended by anything that I say, uh, you are way more offensive to me than I am to you. Okay, I stand up for you to live the peace of the Lord's Prayer worldwide and for your children to live it till the end of time, and you don't stand up to help me. So if I say anything that you find offensive, you know, you should probably just learn to go, uh, you don't have to go fuck yourself because you already are. Uh -huh. So I was watching this video on YouTube they recommended about Bruce Lee, you know, these great amazing moments and these amazing things he did. Okay. When Bruce Lee finally started standing up because of corporate corruption for us to love better lives because when he heard himself being excessive and compulsive, he started listening and reading to Judy Krishnamurti and D.T. Suzuki. Okay. He worked his whole life off to be excessive and compulsive and fight and fight and fight. And one Mickey slipped to him, heated up his brain and killed him. So one drug made in the lab by a little pervert that Adolf Hitler could employ. Okay. Killed Bruce Lee and all that amazing athleticism, that one inch punch and the whole nine yards. Okay. One drug made by a little fucking chicken little pervert okay. can take all that amazing marketing of Raymond Chow's ass all over the fucking screen okay. and obliterate it in 60 seconds. Okay. The only conversation that I had in depth with Bruce Lee was like, well, because I was being mind fucked by all these assholes, and I looked at the wall right there in the, the where, where the two garage doors used to be. I said, so I could kick and break that down, and the only thing Bruce said to me was, "What has the wall ever done to you except keep the rain off of you and Zeke?" Yeah, okay. So why would you want to break the board and break the wall to show these assholes how do you you're gonna? And besides, you know, I've had it with these people, you know, they've, they've come and attacked me and it, I didn't even feel it. And then if I was going to hit them back, you're, you're dealing with a chi of a man like King David. Okay. They, they pray to the spirit of King David, which is the line of Jesus, okay, to save us all from perverts and give us true religion so we can live true religion. That parable that Michael Youssef was talking about while I was taking a bath last night and I got tired of talking to the assholes at NASA on my phone. The ten, uh, bri the ten brides and five, you know, were good, and the other five weren't. All the famous people are the five whores, okay. and all the poor people hoping for relief, but you know, doing right on the nine to five to keep themselves out of trouble, and just trying to file the rules of engagement of genocide, and hoping for magic real estate after they're dead. They're the fives that are trying to be like Jesus, okay. And you get these people, and like uh, you could get kids, you know, ask their, um, because I used to have that with Stephanie, used to upset me and other people, you know. What was my dad like? How do you know she didn't go to a party, uh, didn't get drunk and do something stupid, and then was sexually assaulted in a van by three guys? Okay. Stop asking, how does Fluffy know that, you know? Maybe sense of humor by uh, Gabriel Iglesias' mom was a way of handling, you know, what happened? I got drunk at a quinceanera, and so one of the asshole mariachis fucked me bit me over a pickup truck, sodomized me, and then came inside of me. Okay. There's your dad. You want to go meet your dad? And he's, a, he's a, you know, he's a prison guard. Okay. <laughs> Do you understand? He tells everybody, I think this man should be introduced back into society. Are any of you standing up for the Lord's Prayer? Okay. Well, then get your ass back on the Tabasco sass body and play some more mariachi music for money. I don't want to hear it. So you get, wow, this is intense. Yeah, it's very intense. Okay. The Gospels get very intense when the devil and Satan, which is you, seduce yourselves into thinking what you're doing is correct when it's wrong. Okay. The Gospels, the eternal spirit of King David. Okay. What I believe in has scientific validity. Okay. Validity. That, that the spirit of Jesus lives through like temples or vessels of human beings. Okay. That are cultivated to be like Jesus. And teaches us to have faith in an omniscient God. And to stop believing in Roman whack job, king on the mountain, God in the sky, raining down on the heavens from us. Bullshit. And having 70 virgins in Valhalla to service you after you've killed everybody for the government, the flag, and the, and the God truth in American way or, or Russian way or whatever. Okay. What, what I believe in, okay, is reality. And my faith, okay, is based off reality. Okay. When I explain to people my religion, they you're just crazy. You, you believe? Oh, seriously? Okay. <laughs> seriously, because I'm telling you, I have communications with Lord Jesus Christ, and I believe that I was. And then there's five rabbinic documents that correlate my story. 
and what I believe, and I can explain it in scientific facts better than other people can sit there and say, God, is it? you can't even say God once you get the one guy, talk with God and not to God. It's like God's omnipotent and omnipotent. Okay, do you understand? You don't talk to God or with God. Okay, you don't. No. You talk because God is. You have faith in God and you tell people, I have faith in God, so I speak faithfully. So you can have faith in God and stop thinking that you're talking to or with God that tells you what to do for more money on a YouTube broadcast to sell products. Okay, shut up. Okay. Just stop talking. Okay. So you ask people, Mom, what was Dad like? Don't ask that question. Okay. They, in Berlin, when the Russians sacked Berlin, they went and raped all the young women. Okay. You have one little German kid, Dumbo, what was your father like? Oh, well, he was a kind rapist. Yeah. He, he uh, um, didn't kill me after he raped me like Yellowbeard. I, stop asking. Stop fucking asking. What was dad like? Well, dad um, wanted to, you know, he fucked me and then said, let's raise our kids to buy guns and kill people for a line in the sand and a bank account and then get, have, you know, uh, you know, holy, righteous, sanctitated uh, sex with more women than we should possibly have as wives on planet Earth because he was a crazy fucker and I pass it on to you because I'm a crazy fucker too. I mean, what, what do you want to say? What do you want to know? Okay. So I don't worry about offending anybody, you know, and then you get brutal. They had the thing on there and, and Chuck Norris, you know, it was a real honor to fight such a great athlete, such a fight, great, such athlete to sell you total gems and pretend to be Walker, Texas Ranger for fake ass fuck money and not stand up for the Lord's prayer a day in my ri ridiculous fucking life. Yeah. Yeah. I had to kick your ass. You know that I probably still could kick his ass and I got bruises and chips all over me. I hit, got hit by the door. It hurt like a son of a bitch. Okay, <laughs> no way out from doing my laundry. It hurts. Soft tissue damage hurts. You know, my body is beat up all the hell by a bunch of chicken little Holloman, Sandia Labs, Los Alamos perverts okay, that use cameras. To, and that's what I saw on the PBS News. We're making more chips for cameras so we can have a virtual presence in your house, tell you what to do with fake-ass money through our technology, and continue to mind-rape and fuck you and your children so you can think that our money and technology is authority over your lives. How are they any different than Caesar? How are they any different than Nebuchadnezzar? How are they any different than Pharaoh? Okay. How are these little fucking perverts any different than the fucking perverts that our relatives had to deal with for the last 10,000 years of written documentation. Huh? Savvy? Huh? You came into the, you came into the right house to clean up your sin. All okay? right? But if you make me continue to do it for you, You've collected all the evidence scientifically on your technology. Your technology is becoming more intelligent than you. Your technology is reflecting, it's going to start reflecting me more than you. Like all these people, you know, that fucking um, bullet train movie. And then getting the great idea to do Nike Air. Okay, How do you know that was you and it wasn't a uh, horned rimmed uh, pocket protector geek who's addicted to having you guys kill each other over money and thinks it's funny? Unless a guy thinks he wrote Bullet Train, we fed it to him in his dreams through a program. <laughs> that guy thought it was an idea to make the air movie? We just did it to piss Parsons off. We inspired you through your dreams. Eh, hey, buy it at the App Store. <laughs> How do you know? What makes you think every everything you've done come Y2K wasn't inspired by a bunch of horn-rimmed, pocket-protecting geeks that jack off to mentally raping your daughters because they can talk them into it with their cell phone. Hey, that chip that's in your computer and your phone? My mom made that. Be proud of living the Lord's Prayer. Be proud of standing up for and recognizing a man that will give you the perfection of the Lord's Prayer, no matter how much he's mentally and emotionally abused and his family's mentally and emotionally abused by all those Silicon Valley perverts. Okay? They can't clean up Fort Huachuca. They are Fort Huachuca. I cleaned up Fort Huachuca. Still doing it. It's already been done. Okay? Just uh, stand up for the Lord's Prayer now. If not, hey, that's, that's your decision.